Hello beautiful people and welcome to a Ramila moment. As you might have guessed, I am Ramila. Thank you for all your views and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. So today's video will be on um, my microblading and shading healing process. So if you were looking for anything other than just the healing process, I'm not gonna give you any other information. So this is not the video for you. Um, but I will be doing a Q&A video, so you should stay tuned for that. Uh, so basically a little background on microblading micro and shading. It is a, a cosmetic tattooing procedure. They use very small needles with a um, pigment to create hair like strokes to make your eyebrows fuller or give it a different shape, whatever you want basically. So I've had mine for about five months now and it has totally changed my life. Um, I'm more confident. I go to sleep with eyebrows on. I wake up with eyebrows on. I ain't worried about if I have a scratch on my face, an itch on my face. If I scratch it, my eyebrows will come off. No, like it has definitely changed my life. But I did find that the healing process has been, was one of the most challenging parts. And not a lot of people talk about the healing process. People will be like, oh my gosh, I'm going through all this. This is not what I ex expected, but it's very common. But at the end, the results are great. So, like I said, I've had mine for about five months now. And um, I got it done from a lady. Her name is Stevie. She has her own company called Brow Almighty. She's located in New Jersey. If you are going to travel there, give her a look, especially if you're looking. She's amazing. She's informative. She is so sweet. And she knows whatever you got questions, she knows the answer. And she works on all skin tones. And she knows the differences between, you know, if your skin's gonna take this, if your skin is not gonna take this. It is, and she's just like very nice. She even created this little healing chart. It is so cute. It basically tells the steps or the um, throughout the days what you will experience. And I went through all everything that she had on that chart. So I will be referring to that chart throughout the video just to give you a um, comparison from what she said to what I look like at that moment. Um, if you are looking for anything other than just the healing process, do not be discouraged because I will be putting out a Q&A video um, basically of the full experience that I went to. So they will be like my top questions that I got. And um, hopefully I'll be able to answer any questions that you have in that video. But this video is only about um, the healing process and using photos to explain that. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into that video. So this is the cute chart that she created that I'll be referring to. As you can see, it has the days and the description of what your eyebrows should look like. This is what my eyebrows look like before the microblading and shading. Very thin, very sparse, not much shape, not symmetric, nothing. So I was in dire need of some work. So first we're gonna start with day one, me getting them done. Eyes are perfect, crispy, and very detailed. These are the after picture. As you can see, very symmetric, they look natural. They're they are sore right at this point, so they are a little red and a little bit more um, defined, but they still look pretty good. The next one was that the brows will temporarily darken and few shades deeper. Now you can see my eyebrows are extremely dark. Next five to seven days, each stroke will flake and shed off the skin. As you can see, the eyebrows are rising up a little bit and it is starting to scab. It has like a lot of texture. Here you can see chunks falling off and flakes coming off. So this was like really a difficult time for me because it's like my eyebrows look a mess and there's nothing you can do about it because you're supposed to just let them heal so you don't touch them, don't mess with them, nothing. So this was like really tough for me because I looked crazy. Absolutely crazy. And like the more they flaked off, the worse it looked. 
The next one was day eight to 10. Brows will appear extremely light and skin appears milky. So this is like after all of the flakes basically come off. So as you can see, there's like little spaces. My skin does look a little light. So on this one, I will be doing the day 14 and 28 and brows will resurface but may look patchy in some areas. This is the time where she recommends getting a touch up which will be after eight, six to eight weeks. So then she could fill up any patches or any work that you feel that needs to be done. She will fix it to your liking. Now this picture is before I went to get them looked at. You can see it's still a little spacey and a little sparse. This picture is after I got them redone. As you can see, they look very natural and I really like them. Days five to seven was the worst for me, but in the end, they look great and I would do it all again. I really hope that these pictures were helpful. I just wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video.